Nice hot chocolate. Whew. Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Lan Ray and we're ready to kick off a new series called Super Fan. Woo! Yep. As you could tell, I'm a big fan of New England Patriots. They're totally awesome. Sometimes I love to cheer for my team. If you think about it, that's actually what we're doing when we show kindness. We're cheering each other on. It's like we're super fans of each other. Like, woohoo, you're rooting for each other. You see, kindness is showing others they're valuable by how you treat them. We need to show kindness to the people around us. We need to let people know we're a big fan of them with the words we say and things we do. There's an important reason why we should, which is what we'll find in our Bible story today. We'll dive into that Bible story in just a few moments from our friends at Orange. But first, let's sing and worship Jesus together now.
His love will never quit His love will never run away Even when I get upset His love is still forgiving me And it's all because All because His love isn't just a little bit He loves me a whole lot to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32. Sally Jessup and May Lynn lived in the same town and went to the same school. And both girls had YouTube shows about slime that racked up views from across the world. Get slimed with May! Sally's Slime Creations. The two girls were polite to each other in the hall at school. Hey there. Hi. But they weren't exactly friends either. I'm doing glow in the dark slime next week, so you should do something different. Look, I give my viewers what they want. Which is basically the same thing over and over. Rainbow sand slime, rainbow unicorn slime, rainbow crunchy slime. You're just jealous how many views my rainbow glitter slime got. Whatever. Plus, you use borax in your slime. It's not safe. Is too. Liquid starch is way better. The two girls glared at each other and marched off. A few days later, May watched Sally's newest episode. Sally's Slime Creations. She really should get better theme music. Here's a super important PSA before we get started. You've probably seen some slime recipes that use borax, but borax isn't safe or healthy. Hey, that is not true. I know there's another YouTube show telling you to use borax for the best slime, but in my opinion, you should just unsubscribe to that channel. And now it's time for some rainbow fluffy slime. You have got to be kidding. Sally just told thousands of people to stop watching my show. Well, I am unsubbing her right now. May couldn't stop thinking about what Sally had done. I cannot believe her. In the cafeteria at school the next day, Sally walked over to where May was sitting with some other friends at the lunch table. Can I sit here? No way! She can't sit here! When Sally spilled her backpack at the lockers... Oh no. May pretended not to notice, 
and marched right on past. That evening, when May recorded her next episode, she had an announcement of her own. Today on Get Slime with May, I've got an amazing guest to tell us all about the science of slime. But first, I need to warn you about another slime channel. Someone's telling you not to use Borax. Well, you should hit unsubscribe fast cause she's a liar. Borax is completely safe and makes the best slime. Now it's time to welcome our guest, Wendy Newton. She's a chemistry expert. May switched to a split screen with her guest, a middle-aged woman with wild curly hair and sleepy eyes. Hi, Wendy. Welcome to the show. I'm honored to be here. I gotta ask, you think borax is the best thing to use for slime, right? Borax is great if it's used correctly. I think God has given each of us the smarts to look up safety guidelines and be wise about it. Oh, yeah, of course. So let's get down to it. You're a chemist. How cool is that? You could say we're all chemists. I mean, just baking brownies is chemistry. That's right. What kind of chemistry are you whipping up for your dinner? Oh, well, it's actually uh, uh, uh 3 a.m. here. Wait, what? I'm in Dubai right now. But that's like halfway around the world, so it's night. I... Oh, I am so sorry. I woke you up. It's all right. You said that in your email. I forgot. It's okay, really. You're being so nice about it. Hey, kind is cool. There's this verse in the Bible from the book of Ephesians. It's kind of my motto. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. May frowned. She had to admit she wasn't always great at being kind when someone made her angry. Look, I've messed up so many times and God has wiped the slate clean every single time. That makes it a lot easier to forgive when other people make mistakes. Like calling in the middle of the night? Hey, aren't we a little off topic from slime? Um, I think I'm gonna have to restart this recording. I said some stuff about someone else I need to delete and how about I call you back in the morning? I mean, my morning, your afternoon. Hmm, <laughs> that sounds fantastic. May leaned back in her chair and released a long breath. I haven't been very kind at all, even a little. Grabbing her phone, May started a DM to Sally. Hey. I'm sorry about the lunch table thing. I think rainbow slime is pretty cool. Maybe we should do a show together sometime. May wasn't sure how Sally would respond, but she did feel better knowing that she'd taken the steps toward being kind instead of focusing on payback. It is important to remember that you don't have to let someone be mean to you. If you have a problem with someone that is not getting better, Ask an adult for help. You can't control how someone else will act, but you can control how you act. Instead of acting the same way back, you can decide to show kindness. It all starts when you remember why you should be kind in the first place. Remember, be kind to others because God is kind to you. When you don't feel like being kind, you can ask God for help. Think about how kind God was to you when he sent Jesus for you. That will help you remember to show kindness, even when it's difficult. How about we ask God for help right now? Yep, right now, let's do that. All right, with all eyes closed, God, thank you for this important reminder of why we should treat others with kindness. You showed kindness to us when you sent Jesus to be our savior. Please help us to follow your example and show us your love to the people around us. Help us to use our words and actions to show them how valuable they are. Even when it's difficult, I mean so difficult, we love you. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, make sure to stay connected to Mountain Families Facebook page and check out the Family Guide to dive deeper into God's Word this week. See you next time. Bye.